Hello and welcome to another edition of Be Dad's Beer Reviews. I'm going to do a beer from Boxcar. It's a beer that I've picked up out of the mighty Barton's in Ashton and Makerfield on Bolton Road. And it is Tropical Blush. And this is a mango, cherry and coconut sour. Now I looked at the, the label and I thought mango, cherry and coconut. That's going to be an interesting beer. That's why I picked it up. It, it weighs in at 4.8%. It says so right there. Uh, it cost me 5 25 bit steep. Considering earlier on in the week I bought that 12% Northern Monk for 5 quid and I bought the 18% um, Stay Out by Tiny Rebel for 5 quid. I don't know, 5.25. Anyway, this was packaged on the 4th of June 21 and is best before the 4th of December. 21 it says so that way on the back it says uh, sour and fruity with vast amounts of sour cherry um, and mango added they round it out with coconut to create this fruit the fruit smoothie of a beer and it says uh, refresh it says that there label gold yellow yeah, looks like it look, to be fair it looks almost lemony let's pop a top and see what we've got oh okay so we've got a pink head we've got a red beer oh we've got a red beer there's a massive crackle on this I can hear it already I don't need his head not going to hang around either I think that's going to that's going to go relatively quickly so, beer in a glass, what have we got? We've got ourselves red beer. Yeah, red beer. A um, bit of carbonation across the bottom, if the camera can pick that up. Yeah, just see it. And uh, we've got a figure of head, but that is going to go. By the time I've finished talking about it, it will have disappeared. And we won't have any kind of head whatsoever. Um, see it there, anyway. Right, so, looks like a decent, looks decent. Let's get the nose where you can smell, let's go for it. cherries and coconut not picking up much mango but the coconut is really really there it, it smells really 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 good unusual cherry and coconut enough I sort of had that before I mean, not picking up much mango I'll be honest right, let's go for the body and carb cheers Light, watery, medium carbed, not too shabby. Let's go for a big taste. Cheers. Go for the sour cherries. Could even be a little hint of a hint of lemon in there as well. Again, unripe mango maybe. It feels like there's like a, it feels like there's a passion fruit in there as well. It feels like there's a real sort of sourness, and then you've got woody, coconutty at the back end. It's not bad. It's unusual. It's not bad. Sourness. It's more again more tart than sour from the cherry. It's okay. It does wash itself away a little bit. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. There's the, there's the coconut. Yeah, there's the coconut. It's proper woody coconut. It's not bad at all. So, let's get the rest of this in the camera. We'll wrap this review up nice and short and sweet. So, this is Boxcar's Tropic Blush Mango, Cherry, and Coconut Sour at 4.8. Do I like it? It's okay. Did I buy it again? Probably not. Did not get any kind of mango on this at all. And here comes the rain. Anyway, wrap this up there quick. Um, so if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I'll put a link to the box car website also below. So if you like the video, do that. If you don't, subscribe in that bottom corner and I'll see you in the next one. Stay late, stay safe, drink good beer. Hey, Dale.